Hi, everyone. This is Robin with Craig and Creations. Give me just a second because I hit the live button and didn't know that I had done that. And I was right in the middle of another project. So give me just one second. If you guys wouldn't mind, please sprinkle this video and say hi when you pop on. Hello, hello. Hi, Shirley. How are you today? Y'all, I'm sprinkling for myself. Hi, Louise. I am. I'm a frazzled mess today, and I'll tell you guys later. I mean, I pushed the live button and didn't mean to, so if that's any indication. I'm just sprinkling for myself so that I can get going and uh, if you guys would do that too I would appreciate it. Hi Emily Emily Conroy I think I've seen you on here and commented about your last name. We are related somehow. You're good how am I doing? Well I'll tell you in a minute I am um, sprinkling. One more place and I will be done. Whoops. I did that last time. I don't know how to spell. Okay. You live in Florida, okay. That's where I know we are related because the Conroy name is from my, um, is on my mom's side and they're all from Fort Myers, Florida. And I have family in Fort Myers, um, Cape Coral, St. Pete, Tampa area. So we need to check that out, Emily. All right, you guys. Hi. Hit live before I was ready. I literally just flew in the door. I needed to get little faces on my ghosts that I have sitting here so I can get them out of the way and then do this project, which I have everything sitting here. It is a mess. So, um, yeah. <laughs> Let me have some water because I am sweating. It is hot and humid here, and we had rain come through yesterday from, uh, I think it was Hurricane Mandy that was downgraded to a storm. We're on the East Coast, Miami to Orlando. Well, I'm sure we have got to be related somehow. Because the Conroy name is not it's not a, a huge wide name, but yes, we are related somehow. All right. So how many of you guys do tiered tray decor? Because I'm gonna do a project today let me fix my dang ghost because it's bugging me that <laughs> when I looked up and saw that I was already live, I messed up one of the little eyeballs. I got to fix it. I don't know if y'all can see, but can you see? I was putting his eyes on and got some black up here on the little curly cue. I've got to fix that. It will drive me nuts. Y'all, these little guys, 
I have sold out of these three different times. And I'm not going to renew them. They've already sold out again. And I'm not going to renew them. I could, but I want to move on to something else. I live in Georgia, South East Georgia. I'm like 45 minutes above Jacksonville, Florida. That's where I live. And Louise, I know you live in um, Louisiana. Uh, we lived in New Iberia, Louisiana for a year and a half. My glasses are on the other table. Yeah. Okay. I have to have these or the eyeballs are going to look off. Alrighty. See, that's all I needed to do <laughs> before I hit live, and I did it way too soon. All right, so that project is done. These can dry for another day before I pack them up and ship them out. Let me put them back here to dry. And we'll get to the next one. So I've already been to Savannah and back today. Um, Jana, who is my handicapped daughter, had her appointment with her oncologist today. And uh, I am just now getting back from that. So let me move some stuff around. Okay. I didn't see where anybody said that they do any type of tiered tray decor. So this can actually be used on a tiered tray. Um, it, with any of your fall decor, if you make wreaths, it could be used as a wreath attachment. Lots of different ways you can use this, not just on a tear tray, but it is going on my tear tray. And if it's cute ish, when I make it, I might even put it in my Etsy shop as a cute little embellishment for later on. So, anyway, I'm going to turn you guys down and get going. Try not to put my hand in front of the camera. Ooh. But it might happen. Sorry. Okay. Come back. Need that. All right, so these are the little, hi, Luann. These are the little tumbling tower. It's the tumbling tower game from Dollar Tree. So these are the little pieces that I'm going to be using. You need 10 pieces for this project. Now, you guys, this is not my idea. I did get it um, off of a lady on TikTok. I do not know her name. You've been wanting to make a tiered tray. I see people's all the time. I'd like to make one. Yes, Louise, I've made a couple of them here on my page. Oh, 
all very affordable um, pieces. So that's four to six. Let's open up another one. You can totally make one by yourself. I made one, actually, one of mine was made out of nothing but Dollar Tree items. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. See writing on that one, so it doesn't matter. I'll put it in the back. Yes, you can. All of my videos are available for replay. All right, so I'm gonna put that is on the back. There's one that has writing on it. I'm just gonna make sure that's on the back. And I wanna put it up there. I'm just trying to find the lighter pieces for the bottom, darker for the top, and then there's two in the middle. So let's go ahead and do these lighter pieces. I'm tangled up in my glue gun. I have two glue guns over here. And so, um, cords are tangled up. All right, so I'm just going to take in a thin bead of glue. that together. Now I did bring some wood glue, but for the purposes of a live, if I do this and resell it, it will all be done with wood glue and I'll glue it together and let it sit until it has time to dry before I go on. But because it's alive, I'm using hot glue, which I don't think is going to be that big a deal, honestly. These things hold very well together with hot glue. I have made a ton of projects with these little blocks and hot glue. So we, I was supposed to bring my daughter home with me today after her appointment. But the miscommunication between us and her caregiver was, I guess, not the way it should have been. And she did not come home with me. We'll reschedule getting her next month. Okay, so these four pieces I glued together long ways like this. So now what I want to do is take a, I'm using antique parchment paint, but you can seriously use whatever color you want. To This is going to be a little scarecrow and the brush. I don't want him to have a stark white face, but off white, or whatever color face you want him to have.
I missed seeing you guys on Wednesday. I've been slammed with orders and just literally by the time I looked up on Wednesday, it was 3.30 and there was no way I was going to do this. This is why I've had this project sitting here knowing I was going to do it on a live and didn't get it done. How many of you guys decorate for Halloween or let me ask it this way. Do you decorate for Halloween or fall or both? I decorate for both. All right, so that's painted. And I'm just going to set that aside to dry. Pretty quick, huh? Ooh, that's the last wipey. Another pack set here, thank goodness. Okay. So now we're going to take and glue these together, but these are going to be glued together long ways. Like this. And then these four are going to be glued together just like the first four. You love to decorate for Halloween and Thanksgiving. Oh, fall, Halloween, and Thanksgiving. Yep. I have a lot of my Halloween and fall decor. It's double-sided. So, because you know how a lot of times you can use, you know, pumpkins for Halloween and for fall. So, I have things that are decorated on one side for Halloween, and then when Halloween is over, I just turn it around and it's fall. <laughs> it saves me a whole lot of time. All right, so we have those together, just like that. So now what I want to do is I'm going to use burnt umber. Oh. Oh, the lid popped right off. Don't need a whole lot of that. And then I'm going to take some water right on top of that. A few good squirts, and we're going to make a stain out of it. Just mix that together. Turn that into a stain.
and that one's already done. You do the double-sided things too. Yeah, doesn't it make life so much easier, especially where those holidays are so close together? It's crazy that, um, you know, I want to keep those things out for as long as possible. There are certain things I use for Halloween and certain things for fall, and I'll put those things up and away, but then there's other things I just want to be able to leave out, such as the pumpkins and that kind of thing. You see how easy this is going on? That's why these projects are so quick, so fast. And the stain on these is going to dry so quick. All right. Okay, I think this is about it's dry. Good deal. All right, so now you've got your your set here. Let's see. We'll go like that. Do I want it like that? Okay, so we're going to take the top stained part and hot glue it to the bottom piece here. Just like that. Sorry about that. Hey, Neva. All right, so you have your stained pieces here, your painted pieces here. Now, we're going to take this piece and put it, I want it to cover this line where the separation is between the stain and the paint, but I want it to sit crooked like that. So that looks good. I'm going to go ahead and black glue that down. So this is what we've got so far. Okay, so at this point, I'm gonna see if I have some small black buttons that I wanna use for his eyes or if I'm gonna need to paint them on. So I'm just going to have to empty out the whole thing here. These ones are smaller. Those are two different ones. Oh, there's one. 
Okay, that'll be perfect. Or do I want to go with that one? Smaller, yeah, those are too small. So let me find one that's that size. Oh my gosh. I was telemarketing phone calls drive me nuts. Anybody else? Ooh, there we go. All right, that works. Put those in later. You're making a pot of chili, so I couldn't respond, but I'm sorry you couldn't get your daughter. That must be very disappointing. It was very disappointing because we had her brother come in on Sunday to meet the new girlfriend, and yeah. We've just got to reschedule everything. All right, so I'm going to glue these down. I like this size. So well, that's what we got right there. Hi, John. Oh, telemarketers, man. That was three in a row. <laughs> and they always try with a different phone number. Like, I'm not going to think it's them again. Um, I'm going to take some white paint. And give him... A little pupil here. That's probably too small. This brush is awful. That's why I use the other end. Okay. There's that. Let's see. Now we need a nose. I don't think I brought my red paint. So we'll just use puppy paint. Okay, so I'm just going to do a little triangle shaped nose here. I'm going to use a needle and try and even this out a little bit. Kind 
kind of like you do when you're making sugar cookies and you want that frosting to go all the way to the edge. That's all I'm doing right here is using that needle to push the paint out to where I want it. And that's what we got there. And that's that tool from Dollar Tree that I use for that. All right, so for the mouth, I'm gonna use a ultra fine point Sharpie. And I'm gonna hope and pray that it doesn't um, uh, wanna bleed. That's the word. <laughs> I was like, what the heck am I trying to say? All right, so let's go. You'll see that. All right, to give his mouth a little bit more character, I'm going to put little X's in here every now and then. Right like that. Now, if that white paint will dry, I will put a black dot. Actually, I can do that with the other paint. I don't have to wait for it to dry. Let's do it like this. <laughs> My little scarecrow is cross-eyed, but that's okay. All right, so I put some pupils on him right like that. So now this is where I'm going to go to my leftover ribbon. Let's see what I've got in here. That'll work. I like that, but it's too springy. Ooh, that green would work with that. Or I've got burlap on there. That might be too much brown. Um, I got some buffalo check. That's kind of cute. I'm gonna I'm gonna go with the green. I think the buffalo check will be really cute, but I'm gonna go with the green. Only because I want to put a sunflower on him. All right, so we got that part. I'm going to actually cut this to where I want it to go. I'm going to cut it in half. 
and then half again. And then I'm going to cut off this edge here where the wire is in the ribbon. Like that. And that's still too big, so I'm going to cut it down a little more. I like that. It looks it makes it look like it's got a patch. And I'm going to put a button in the middle of the patch. Like that. You don't need a whole lot of raffia for this. Because I'm just going to take it, loop it over on itself. Tie it. Wrap it a couple of times, make it real tight. I know the sunflower, that was a last minute choice. I thought I want him to be fall, so he's got to have a sunflower on him for sure. All right, so I just Tied that off right there in the middle so it had had a middle part to it. Now this is going to go where I want it to go. Well, his eyes are too close, so it's going to have to go on the brim right there. And that's going to kind of cover up that middle bar right there where they're joined together. So I'm going to put a little dab of hot glue right there. Put that down. I'll hold that just a second. Y'all, I'm such a sucker for a, for a sunflower, for sure. Okay. So this is what we got so far. It's cute. All right, so I'm gonna do a little hot glue there and put the patch on. Glue on the yellow button or the orangish yellow button. Now these little sunflowers, I bought these last year at Hobby Lobby in the fall section at 40% off. They are there again this year. So I did see them just today. Now I'm not gonna put that right in the center. I'm gonna put that off to the side. Look how stinking cute.
cute, cute, cute. So let's do a quick little setup. I did bring, I, I use this on my tiered tray to give it another height, height step. It's just one of those um, crate, little bitty crates from Dollar Tree that I stained the same way I did um, this, but I didn't wipe all of it off. And I turn it upside down to give it some, another platform to sit on. So this little guy can sit on your tiered tray just like that. With your... Pumpkin. I have a mini candy apple that we can put right there and a little candy corn. There you go. And you've got, even without a tiered tray, you have a tiered tray look because you have things on different levels. All right, so I'm gonna turn you guys back up. There you go. Well, now you can't see, but this is him right here. <laughs> Look at him, he's all crazy eyed. <laughs> oh well, he's cute. And that nose is three dimensional because it's puppy paint. <laughs> it's cute and I think when it when it dries which will only take maybe an hour I can go back in with my um, fine tip sharpie and put little X's on his nose just like I did on his mouth and he's super cute so here he is again now you could also take the raffia and put it up underneath the hat like it's his hair before you put the eyes on but I put the eyes too close to the brim of the hat that I couldn't get the raffia in between them so I just put the raffia as part of his the brim of his hat instead of his hair but how cute is that thanks Neva thank you Louise super simple super easy and quick y'all that only took 40 minutes and I know most of that was me talking all right you guys have a great weekend and uh, enjoy it we're having some really good weather here today it's windy but it's beautiful outside so I hope it stays that way this weekend and I'll see you guys hopefully next week I am not going to say that I will be doing my normal 1 p.m. lives on Wednesday and Friday because this is really my busy season. And Wednesday I got caught up with orders and didn't even look at, at um, the time until it was 3.30 and I'm like, yeah, I'm not doing a live. I'm just too tired. So, ooh, I gotta sneeze. Oh, excuse me. Yes, it's great weather right now. So, all right, you guys, have a great weekend. Thanks for um, popping on and saying hi, and I'll talk to you guys sometime next week. I will be going live. I just don't know when. I'm going to hope I can do it Wednesday and Friday, but we'll see. All right. Bye, guys.